hello hello thanks for coming along today um today's video has kind of been inspired by um i've been working on folios quite a lot lately and i'm really enjoying that and also dash of dave has used quite a lot of like file folder kind of materials to make some projects so i've kind of combined those two inspirations really along with the fact um, anybody who makes digitals will know that you do millions and millions of test prints and you know just to make sure you get kits correct so I've got so many prints that I want to use up I'm never going to get through them all but I'm going to try so this is the kind of um, initial templatey thing that I've made so we're going to make a folio today an ephemera folio um, I'm going to work on this particular this is um the dispatch dispatch and I've got two of those kind of cheap and cheerful document wallets you don't have to use a digital if you've got scrap digitals great you can use scrapbooking paper you can use book pages do not think you have to buy a, a digital you know this is not I'm using this simply because I need to use it up and I thought the color scheme would go well so I'm going to start with one um, I think I'm probably going to need two for this the first thing I'm going to say is this is not about me giving you measurements. This is about me um, just working and showing you how I do this without measuring. I'm not going to be measuring anything. I'm going to be using my paper as a way to work out how much, how big I want things. This was an A4 sheet of paper and obviously I didn't print borderless so I've cut off all my borders the first thing I'm going to do is grab my trimmer. I'm not opening my trimmer up for this particular bit. What I am going to do is just pull out this little expanding part of the file. Okay, I'm just going to pull that apart so I can put it flat in my trimmer. Close that so I've just got one side like so. I'm going to put this in. I'm lining it up at the bottom and I'm just going to line it up with the the little kind of divot if you like so I can give myself a really nice straight edge so that can go into the bin now here comes the no measuring part I'm going to take my pencil put my paper on I'm going to put that on there so I know roughly how big to make this and I'm just going to put a little line at the other end I'm going to pull out that little expanding piece again, this end. Obviously, my, my prototype, if you like, is not a finished product. So some of this is going to be playing it by ear. I've kind of got an idea roughly how it's going to work. So I'm just going to line that up where I've got that extra. Cut that off. And I'm going to keep this because this um, these may well make extra flaps, etc. So now we have something that looks like that, um, but I want it to be a bit thinner than this. I don't want it to be quite this wide. I'll put this here and grab my little doojimmy flippy what's it. So I'm going to put this into my scoreboard and I'm just measuring. Now you might have a different document wallet. You might be using different cardstock. You might be using a file folder. This is all just about kind of playing it by ear. I'm not, you know, we don't want too much pressure. We're just going to go with it and see what happens. So um, this is slightly wider. It's not quite nine and a half. It's just over nine and a quarter. And that's going to be, you can roughly see this section will be a little bit smaller than that section. I'm just going to score it five inches. I'm going to make this five inches wide. So I'm going to score down my five inches and I'm not pushing too far. I'm not pushing too hard on that score line. Just going to fold this just to see how that looks and where else we need to score. So I'm going to fold that one in. Just burnish that down. Right, so that's going to fold in and this flap I'm going to fold back on itself. So we're going to have something like this. Right. So I hope so far this makes sense. So this was the original flap of the document wallet. This was the back panel, which we have now scored 
and folded in. So this bit is the next piece we need to score because it is too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over and you can see roughly where that extra is gonna hang over. So I'm gonna take my pencil, put a little line. And this is what I mean by no measuring. <laughs> I do everything by kind of look and feel. Put that against my scoreboard, just get that in short. And my line is here. So I'm actually gonna just score that. Oops, thumbnail got in the way. Score that. So let's turn it back. That goes in. And this one I'm gonna fold that way to make another little flap. Okay. This is looking okay. And like I said, yours doesn't have to look exactly the same. This is just for an idea. So we've now got that. And then this is our front cover, which of course is too big. I want it to be a little bit shorter. This is what it's underneath. I want it to come to about here. So I'm just literally gonna say, okay, I want it about there. Okay, I'm not... I really hope this is not too confusing for you all. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna line it up. That's the little mark I've made, tiny, tiny. I'm lining it up onto my scoreboard. It doesn't have to be spot on, but it's just gonna score that line. Right, now let's get rid of the scoreboard for a moment. Turn that back round, open this flap and just fold along there. So we now have the basis for our folio. So we've got a, a flap, we'll fold out here, fold that way, and then we've got this little flap here. And I've got an idea for that. Right, so I'm gonna work on this little section here. This is our front cover. So I'm gonna lay that down. So I've got a circle. This is our, this is our front cover with the flap okay I'm just going to lay that down so the flap is under here lay that down take my circle and line it up with the edges and draw around that so let me show you so I've just got that little semicircle there or quarter circle actually I'm going to do the same the other side grab my scissors and I'm just going to cut this I hope that it's um, quite bright absolutely boiling but then it will go very dark very quickly like that and then I'm going to cut this side as well so now we have something that looks like this We've got our flap, so we've got a pocket ready to go there. Um, we're going to make something along here, and that will open up as well. So this is going to probably take two file folders or a file folder and some cardstock or whatever you want to use. Any type of file folder will be, fi will be fine. Now, I want to start covering my pieces. So I'm going to open up, and I need to have a little look and see what I would like on the um on the front and i think i'm just going to go for this piece here okay so i'm literally going to add this to my cover sorry about my sleeves right so i'm worried about gluing these two pieces here i'm using um a kind of two two pronged approach i'm not going to show you all of my gluing because it's going to be very boring but i will show you what i'm doing now i'm just using a glue stick and this is the last of my very i think it's the last one i might have one more but they're the very wide prit sticks which i got from amazon because whenever i use this people are um, interested in this um it's very easy to use because it is so big but because of the heat here, I'm having a little bit of trouble. It's, it is drying very quickly, this glue. So let's just 
glue stick as much of that as we can. Then I'm going to take my art glitter glue and make sure my edges are good. I'm just going to go round where the glue stick might have missed a little bit or not might not have got enough glue stick there just round those edges and I'm also going to go up that crease like so right once I've got that let's move this around so it's easy to glue I'm going to line this up as best I can Push that down, give that a really good burnish and I'm working from the centre out, let's just open that so we don't get any more. Now I haven't done a perfect job but that's alright, I've got a little bit of my file folder showing out the bottom there but the colour scheme is going to work so any of those little errors will just be kind of hidden really. So what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to fold this as yet to cut this out. I'm going to leave that for a moment. I want everything to be nice and dry. But what I can do is fold here. Give that a burnish. This is my extra piece. So cutting mats in place. Grab my ruler. Now what you have to be really careful of when you're trimming is that you don't trim your join because that would that would be a bit of a nightmare so being very very careful very very careful i'm going to line this up and trim trim that off so that's the first piece covered right open that up again so the next piece, I think I'm just going to literally cover all the way along and I'm not going to worry too much about the mix in papers. So I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to go for this one next. So I'm literally just going to do the same again. I've done this is all now glued this whole panel except this little flap we're going to cut that little spare bit off in a moment um, but what I would say is what you need to do is you really do need to give this side time to dry um, but I would certainly give it an hour or two to dry I'm just going to fold that flap back on itself and trim that spare piece of paper off because that is going to come in handy for something else. Keeping all those little scraps, that is the folder so far. But I'm just gonna let this dry and I'll be back very shortly and we'll move on. So I'm gonna work on this side now um, because I'm not actually gonna glue the paper directly to this side. I think I'm gonna make panels to fit in each of these sections and glue the paper onto those because it's going to be a lot easier to turn those panels into pockets or whatever I want to do. So I'm going to grab my next file folder and I'm just going to cut the cut the sides off these and cut it to height ready. So I'll do that. So this is now exactly the same as we started off to make our folio. Right, I, I've cut a panel for here. However, this is already going to be a pocket. So this piece I do need to glue straight onto. Okay, because this is going to fold over and form um, a little slip pocket. So this needs to be covered in paper. So I'll do that in a moment. So all I'm going to do is lay my cardstock 
over my over my folio now I've got a crease here and a crease here and what I don't want to do is cut my panels so when it's folded this is going to be in the way so I'm going to make it about an eighth of an inch narrower so I'm just going to lay that in place and I've left a little gap here and I'm going to leave a little gap here and I'm going to put a pencil line there so I'm going to cut this panel so there is the first panel cut for that section I'm going to do this the same way let's move that one out of the way so it doesn't confuse things and put that in place I've left a little gap here quarter of an inch inch and this is my crease here and leave a quarter of an inch little pencil line and cut this flap so I now have that and I now have that now what I could do is cut a kind of quarter of an inch off so we've got a little bit of gap top and bottom yeah I think I will I think I'm going to cut a quarter of an inch off um, for the top and the bottom as well just um, just to make sure I get them the same I'm going to use cut both of them together it's the larger panel and that's the smaller panel so I've cut these two panels for the two center pieces and these two outside pieces I'm going to cover directly with my paper so let's do this side first now what I have done is gone over my crease so I'm going to cut the corner off this So we now have these two panels covered and the whole back side. So I'm going to move that aside for a minute. These are the these are the two panels we need to cover. Um, let's try. Um, OK, so I'm going to glue this. So that's one panel done and now I'll just do the second. Right, so I'm going to bring this back in place. Now, what I'm not going to do as yet is glue these down. Um, I'm certainly going to do some sewing in mine. You don't have to do any sewing, but I'm going to use this and add my pockets and whatever I decide to do directly onto here. Now, I also am going to be adding something to this flap here. So I'm not going to do anything with that at the moment. I do just need to trim a little bit more off that side though without cutting that crease there we go so that will be the inside just going to move those for a minute now i think we're probably okay to do our folds now now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use my knife and just cut around my little to help me with that, I'm going to use the lid that I used to cut the actual, to draw the shape. So I'm just putting that down in place and then I'm going to use my knife and just go around the edge of that. Okay, that's so far so good. I've just got a little bit across here that I want to trim. And now we are good to fold. So we're going to fold. use my bone folder to just burnish that down this one folds in this center this main fold in the middle will be folding in so I'm going to burnish that down and then this one is going to fold out so I'm just going to kind of start that off I'm going to use my bone folder just to push the paper back into that crease and as I do that, I'm going to slowly fold it a little bit more. Um, it's never going to be perfect, but it will be better if you kind of ease it rather than try and do that big fold all in one go. And then again, just go in there with my bone folder, fold that over, burnish that down. We have the panel here. 
and the panel here. This will be a flap. So this will close. We're going to do a little thing here and that will close like so. That's going to be our little folio. So now the cover is done, I'm, um, this will be day one's video and I'm going to carry on working on this, which will be for you tomorrow's video. <laughs> so there you go. That's um, the start of our folio. I hope you like what we've done so far. I hope it wasn't too confusing and um, I will be back for part two. Take care. See you soon. Bye.